transuranium element. The transuranium elements are the chemical elements with atomic numbers greater than 92, which is the atomic number of uranium. All of these elements are unstable and decay radioactively into other elements. Of the elements with atomic numbers 1 to 92, most can be found in nature, having stable, or very long half-life isotopes, or are created as common products of the decay of uranium and thorium. The exceptions are elements 43, 61, 85, and 87, all four occur in nature, but only in very minor branches of the uranium and thorium decay chains, and thus all save element 87 were first discovered by synthesis in the laboratory rather than in nature. All of the elements with higher atomic numbers have been first discovered in the laboratory, with neptunium and plutonium later also discovered in nature. They are all radioactive with a half-life much shorter than the age of the Earth, so any primordial atoms of these elements, if they ever were present at the Earth's formation, have long since decayed. Trace amounts of neptunium and plutonium form in some uranium-rich rock, and small amounts are produced during atmospheric tests of nuclear weapons. These two elements are generated from neutron capture in uranium ore with subsequent beta decays. Transuranic elements can be artificially generated synthetic elements, via nuclear reactors or particle accelerators. The half-lives of these elements show a general trend of decreasing as atomic numbers increase. There are exceptions, however, including several isotopes of curium and dubnium. Further anomalous elements in this series have been predicted by Glenn T. Seaborg, and are categorized as the Island of Stability. Heavy transuranic elements are difficult and expensive to produce, and their prices increase rapidly with atomic number. As of 2008, the cost of weapons-grade plutonium was around $4,000-gram, and californium exceeded $60,000-gram. Einsteinium is the heaviest transuranic element that has ever been produced in macroscopic quantities. Transuranic elements that have not been discovered, or have been discovered but are not yet officially named, use IUPAC's systematic element names. The naming of transuranic elements may be a source of controversy. So far, essentially all the transuranium elements have been discovered at four laboratories, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in the United States, the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Russia, the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research in Germany, and Riken in Japan. Super heavy elements, usually refer to the transactinide elements beginning with rutherfordium. They have only been made artificially, and currently serve no practical purpose because their short half-lives cause them to decay after a very short time, ranging from a few minutes to just a few milliseconds, which also makes them extremely hard to study. Super heavy atoms have all been created since the latter half of the 20th century, and are continually being created during the 21st century as technology advances. They are created through the bombardment of elements in a particle accelerator. For example, the nuclear fusion of californium-249 and carbon-12 creates rutherfordium-261. These elements are created in quantities on the atomic scale and no method of mass creation has been found. Transuranium elements may be utilized to synthesize other super-heavy elements. Elements of the Island of Stability have potential important military applications, including the development of compact nuclear weapons. The potential everyday applications are vast, the element americium is utilized in devices like smoke detectors and spectrometers. <laughs>